let us rejoice. Rejoice and stand strong. The Lord has put, made this day. He has plans for you this day. The question is, do you know his plan? The question is, have you even anticipated his plan? Breaking news, we are getting last minute reports from all over the world of thousands of people that have just vanished. I repeat, thousands of people from all over the globe have disappeared. The total number of people who have disappeared has not yet been confirmed, but it is expected to be a lot higher than what was initially reported. According to authorities, the numbers are expected to be in the millions. Many flights have been cancelled because of security fears. According to reports, there have been plane crashes all over the world because some pilots simply disappeared mid-flight. Chaos has also spread to the roads where a great number of traffic accidents have been reported. Hospitals have not been able to cope with the number of patients coming in. Many parents are in complete despair as their children have also disappeared. Rumours are rife that this could be an alien attack and there are those who believe that Jesus raptured these thousands of people. Witnesses believe to have seen a bright flash followed by a huge thunderous sound and a being like a man in the clouds. Here are some images caught on CCTV cameras. The images you see now are from CCTV cameras all over the world. These images have been analysed by experts and they are genuine. CCTV footage from parks, shopping centres, parking lots, churches and traffic monitoring systems are indeed real and frightening. What has perhaps been most alarming is the report of a hospital where nurses have said in shock that all children just vanished. We are receiving images like these non-stop from all over the world. We are yet to hear from heads of state from all over the world who are in shock but have not yet released any statements. Members of various churches are saying that this is the rapture of the church. When asked why they also hadn't disappeared, many cried and regret not having taken Jesus more seriously before. We are closing this news bulletin here, but we'll return with more news as and when it happens. Hello. What you just saw was a simulation of an imminent event in world history. And just like this demonstration caught you off guard, so will be the return of our Lord Jesus Christ in the rapture. This demonstration was not presented to scare you, but rather to prepare you for our Lord's soon return. Please don't be caught off guard. Our Lord told us to watch and be alert. In Mark 13, 33, he told us, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. And again, in Luke 21, 36, he says, Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And also, again, in Titus chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, he said, looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. That was Paul talking in Titus. But as you see, the Lord gave us ample warning that he will return again one day to call those in him home to gather us together, whether we wake or sleep. This is what the body calls the rapture. We're not here to talk about whether the word is in scripture or not. Arguing about it is a red herring to keep you from the grace of God. But the event is in scripture and is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. And it reads, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, for that we sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, that's the rapture, together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 
Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That phrase caught up in verse 17 is what translates to rapture. And soon after the rapture, the tribulation begins, where God's wrath will be poured out on all those that are left on the earth. God does not want you to experience his wrath. That's why God sent his son, Jesus, the Christ of God, to save us. We are all born into sin. Sin separates us from a holy God. We were not created to live apart from God, but because of sin, we are separated from God. So when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, to redeem us to himself. Jesus was born to die. And his death, burial, and resurrection, when you believe and place your faith in what Jesus did by dying for your sins, that is what saves you. That's what the cross is about. And that's what Jesus was doing on the cross. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing the trespasses unto them. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were yet sinners. That's Romans 5, verse 8, NLT. And again, when we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. That's Romans 5, verse 6 from the NLT. Your works, doing what you think is good, observing laws or standards of man and doing what you are told to do will never save you nor redeem you to a loving heavenly father. Only faith in Jesus will. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. That's the grace of God. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. God's grace. It is a free gift that costs you nothing, but costs Christ everything. Christ was beaten, spat upon, humiliated, and was tortured on that cross. God poured out his wrath on Christ, the wrath and punishment that we justly deserve for all the sins that we have committed against God. Jesus took this upon himself because he loves you and wants to have a relationship with you and live with you forever. Will you accept what Jesus has done for you today, right now? Do it now while there is time. It's so important and it's real easy. You must repent. Confess to God that you are a sinner and that you can't save yourself. Believe that Jesus died for you in your place, and that his death, burial, and resurrection is an atoning sacrifice for your sins. For the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. I ask you now to pray and ask Holy Spirit to lead you in confessing your sins and believe in the Lord Jesus and all that he has done for you. Father God, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, thanking you for this ministry that you have given us. You have made us your ambassadors to share the gospel message of a risen savior, Jesus the Christ. And we take this ministry serious and we're sharing this gospel message of the risen Savior, Jesus the Christ, with the world today. And we're asking, Father, that your spirit goes forth and touches the heart of someone right now who's making the most important decision of their life. Send your spirit to lead them in prayer that will bring them into everlasting life with Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this person. We thank you, Lord, for who's hearing this message and has come into Christ Jesus. And the holy angels in heaven are rejoicing for another soul saved. Thank you, Father God. 
And it's in the Lord Jesus Christ's name that we say thank you. Amen. 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 If you did pray and ask the Lord to save you, congratulations and welcome to the family. Holy Spirit will begin to work in your life to change you. Allow him to do his work. Read your Bible each day and find you some people that believe in and follow Jesus. The Christ of the Bible. Find you a Bible believing and Bible teaching church so you can learn, worship, praise and grow in the Lord. Thank you for allowing this ministry into your home. We love you and Jesus loves you. Have a blessed day.